Hello, <clears throat> oh excuse me, this is uh, Sally Ann here, I hope you're well. I've got uh, something that's a little bit different for me today to show you. I've been looking at the web and I came across um, the design to make this little vertical album. And yes, I was really intrigued and I was really quite happy with the results. I used Kaiser Craft Sweet Treats um, design paper to make it, but let me show you in detail. So it stands, as you can see, that's the top that you're looking at there, but if I turn it on its side, you'll see there are six little pockets inside. Um, it has a, a flap, it has a back, so that's the frame of the back. Um, to close, I actually put a magnetic cl um, clasp so that in fact it's um, easy to easy to close. So let's have a look in the inside. So once you open it up, you see these wonderful little tags there. By the way, you can see where I put the the ribbon through, um, and it's been all layered with paper from Sweet Kaiserkauf. Um, sweet treats. So let's look at all these lovely little tags. Now these pockets, um, there are six of them all in all. They're um, really kind of cute I think. This one's quite nice. So I just cut out one of the designs from the paper and stuck it on with a little bit of ribbon. Um, there you'll find the little green there is, um, you can't really see that. Let me just bring that forward a bit. You can see the, the, the light green, that's um, a Spellbinders die. And another pocket with yet another Spellbinders die. I tried to get the green to match the green of the paper. And there you have, I think, the last pocket. Yeah, let me just show you that. Again, the Spellbinders die. I think that's a Fleur de Lis die. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it on my blog anyway. And again, another design um, cut out from the paper. But let me just go back to the front because inside each pocket is a little tag. Um, some are similar, some are different. So what the idea is you can put a little photograph on here and you can perhaps write a few words on that side. And that just slots straight inside the little um, flap. And the next one, this one's slightly different. Here what I did um, was I made a little tag that goes inside a little band so you can write something on there like thanks or cheers or good to see you or happy birthday or whatever it is and again you can put either you can put the photo on here or you can write on here or you can put a photograph on here there's lots of alternatives but that goes then back inside that little pocket um, and then again this one so you can see that paper again. This is similar. There's two styles basically. So there's that style and then there's, oops, oh this one's a bit tough, there we go. This style here where I just use a little tag. Um, in fact this is a Spellbinder style I just folded in half. So I just popped that on, on there and this little tag with a little bit of ribbon. And this is a Spellbinder, it's one of the accents motifs, Spellbinder dies. And that just sort of sits sits inside and again pops in there nicely. So each of them has a little tag that enable you to do lots of things. What I'm going to do is just put a, just to show people, is see if I can dig some photographs off the web um, and just pop it on the inside here so they can see what the idea is. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. Now the secret to this, believe it or not, is these the inside of these are to paper, uh, toilet paper rolls. <laughs> Can you believe that? Toilet paper rolls swashed in half and that's what gives you the frame. And then you just cover them up. There is a special binding technique here that holds the six pockets in place. Um, and again, the, um, the website that inspired me, she refers to a lady called Laura Dennison from following the paper trail and it was her that came up with this whole idea of how to use this 
binding technique that enables you, it's a hinge technique I should say, that enables you to slot these in place. But it's just an inspired little little idea. It's my first one. I made, I will tell you, I made a few mistakes um, following Ginger, um, the lady who um, is the queen of making these little albums. Uh, you probably can't see any, I hope you can't. But I think I'll be making a few more of these once I've collected a few more toilet rolls because they're really quite sweet. Um, and that means that then, you know, I can either sell them as little little albums or keepsakes or what have you. You could actually put another design here and in the back here you could put a photograph as well with a happy birthday perhaps at this end. There's lots of alternatives. It's, it's bare enough for people to do their own thing with it. But I just thought I'd show you something that I've been playing with, a project that I've been playing with. I'll put all the references on my blog um, so that you can see where I've got my inspiration from. Anyway, there it is. Hope you liked it and hope you're having a good day. Bye for now. Bye.